Hello. Today we are going to replace a traditional outlet with one that has USB ports for charging. This is your typical phone charger and plugs right into there. Okay, step one is we have to turn off the breaker. In order to find out that we have the right breaker, I have an outlet tester. We plug that into the outlet and it will light up. Next we will go to the breaker panel and turn off the breaker for that outlet. Okay, so now we're in the garage at the electrical panel. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and find the correct uh, circuit breaker for the area we're working on. I'm going to move you just a little bit and zoom you in. Okay. For the area that we're working on is the family room, which is labeled as number 17. So if you look on the box, there's numbers along the side here. We look for number 17, which is right here. And then we just throw this switch off. Once that is off, then we go back into the house and make sure that the lights went off on our plug tester. Okay, we're back in the living room now. And as you can see, the lights are off on our plug tester which means there's no electricity going to this outlet. It's now more safe to work on. Okay, our next step is we'll move that and we'll take off the cover plate. Okay, now that the cover plate's off, we will remove the top and bottom screws from the outlet and we'll pull it out to make it easier to work on. Okay, now that we have the two screws that hold the outlet into the uh, wall box removed, we're going to pull this out and take a look at the wires that are attached to it. On this particular one, we have one grounding cable, which is all copper. And then we have two white and two black. One white and one black per outlet. What we're going to do next is we're going to remove all the wires from the back of the old outlet and then orient them to go into the new outlet. On the old outlet, they use the push-in style where the wires just push into holes in the back of the outlet. To remove them, you can either cut these or if you want to use this outlet again, you can use a small screwdriver and there's a little hole you push the screwdriver down in and then you pull the wire right out. I'll try and show that to you each time. See, so you push the screwdriver down in the hole. And then you pull up on the other on the wire. Try and show that to you two more times. Let's see if I can do it this way. Where push it in and you pull this wire out. Okay, and one more time. Push this small screwdriver into the slot. And pull the wire out. Okay, that should be one more wire attached to the old outlet, which is the ground wire. And for that one, you'll need a screwdriver. The ground is always hooked up to the green. Okay, loosen the screw a little bit, and that will pop right off. 
Okay, now we have a total of five wires. Two are white, two are black, and one ground. If you look on the new outlet, there is only three posts. The green one, as I just mentioned, is for the ground. And then there's these two posts here on the side of the outlet. And these posts will each accept two wires. If there is one, two slots for this post and one, two slots for this post. If you okay, so there's two posts that are labeled white and hot. The hot is the black wires. And each of the posts has two little receptacles for the wires. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect them all. I'm gonna start with the ground. And you take the ground wire and you wrap it around the green post and then you screw that down. So now that that's nice and snug, we will work on the other two. Now I'm just kind of reorganizing the wires to keep light colors next to each other. Okay, and next we will do the white. And this one is this terminal and this terminal. So we take the wires and we feed them in as far as they'll go. And we put the other one in. Once both of them are in place, kind of pinch it with your thumb and tighten the screw. Now that that's nice and tight, we'll go ahead and do the black or hot. And it looks like I need to do some adjustments on the white. And give a small tug test. And now the box is ready. Correction, the outlet is ready to go back into the box. This is usually a tricky part that requires a little bit of finesse. Next, we will screw these screws back in to hold the new outlet to the box and put the cover plate on. Okay, as I finish up tightening up these screws, we are ready to put on our cover plate. The cover plate 
Looks a little bit different than the old one. This is the old one. And the new one has a rectangle in it. Now that the cover plate is on, the next thing to do is to go back to the garage, turn on the circuit breaker, and then test the outlet. Both the electrical uh, plug and the USB charger. Okay, so we just got back in from the garage, turn in the circuit breaker on. So the next thing to do is to test the outlet with our plug tester. You can see the lights turned on. So now we will test the USB sockets. There you go. That one works, and I'll even test this one. Voila! Now we can charge our mobile devices or anything with a USB, uh, and also still have two outlets at this location. Okay, that just about wraps up this video of replacing an old outlet with a new outlet with USB charging. If this video is helpful to you, please drop a like on it. And if there's any questions or comments, leave those down below. As always, I want to say thank you and have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.